combine half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of red chili powder, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of garam masala, and one teaspoon of coriander powder in a small bowl. Then dice one onion. Set it aside. Take six cloves of garlic and then either mince them using a knife or put it through a garlic press. Then add one tablespoon of minced ginger to the garlic mix. To a saucepan over medium heat, add 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds and 2 teaspoons of ghee or an oil of your choice. Add the diced onions. Add about half a teaspoon of salt and then stir everything together and cook until the onion is softened or looks translucent. Then add the garlic and ginger and continue to stir everything together until it's fragrant for about three to five minutes. Add the spice mix we prepared earlier and stir everything together to lightly toast. Around 30 seconds. And then stir in the crushed fire roasted red tomatoes. Here I'm using about half a 28 ounce can, so about 14 ounces of these crushed tomatoes. Let everything cook and stir occasionally until the tomatoes have reduced and look a bit like jam, usually for about 10 or 15 minutes. Add one tablespoon of kasuri methi, and then add the beans. and then add one cup of water. Mix everything in and let the mixture simmer to let the flavors blend for about 10 minutes or so. Add one teaspoon of garam masala and add about a quarter teaspoon of kala namak or black salt to taste.
for an additional bit of flavor, add some chopped cilantro and then stir everything in. Then remove it from the heat. You can serve the rajma warm with either whole wheat roti or a whole grain of your choice. Enjoy! Rajma holds a very special place in my heart. It was one of my favorite dishes growing up. So every time I eat Rajma, it just takes me back to my childhood memories. And in fact, even today, every time I go back home to visit my parents, and when my mom asks me what I'm craving or what I want to eat, I always ask her for her Rajma. So this recipe is a variation of that. However, you might notice that there are a few modifications I've made. It's not exactly a traditional Rajma recipe. And the reason why that is, is I was actually, the day I made this, I was craving something a bit more smoky in flavor. So that's where, um, and that's why I added the smoked paprika and the fire roasted tomatoes to get that smoky flavor. If for whatever reason you're not into that, you can always remove the smoked paprika and instead of the fire roasted tomatoes, you can just use regular tomatoes for the recipe. The other thing I will mention is that uh, if you prefer a more uniform gravy, meaning you don't like, you know, chunky onions and tomatoes in your gravy, after you saute the onions, garlic, the ginger, and the tomatoes, before you add in the kidney beans, you can move that masala into a food processor and blend it up so that it's a bit more uniform. So that's totally up to you. I personally, uh, today, that day, I was craving something a bit more chunky and in and, and texture. So that is why I decided not to blend it up. Uh, lastly, in terms of the beans themselves, you can either use dried beans, but if you're doing that, I would highly recommend that you soak them overnight and before you cook them, rinse them, then boil them in, in according to the cooking instructions on the package. And then uh, after you cook them, rinse them one more time before you place them into your curry to avoid excess bloating. Uh, in this particular recipe, I actually did not use dried rajma. So I used canned kidney beans, so canned rajma without any salt added or anything else. It's just a lot more convenient and easy to cook that way. Now, those are just a few things that I wanted to add in there, just a few variations that you can make to really make this recipe your own. Uh, but the blueprints are there for you to follow off of. So hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. If you're looking for a simple framework to make an unlimited amount of high protein vegetarian meals, you can grab my free uh, meal planning guide by clicking the link in the description box below. See you in the next video.